guys, so in this video we're going to be unboxing a microscope that I got from a microscope camp delivered to me and we're going to unbox it and show you what the cool things it can do. So guys, let's unbox this bad boy. So we took out it out of the box and here it is. So there's foam that came with it and we have the kit itself with the microscope in here. Okay guys, so here's what's inside. First we have an assembling kit on how to assemble this. We have the steps that you have to read and we have a how-to guide on how to assemble it. <laughs> and here it is guys. And the next thing we have is all of this stuff that we need to build the microscope and to use it. We have pincers. <laughs> And we have this paper, which I'm guessing we'll use to make the microscope with. And yeah, that's pretty much how we're going to make it. So here are the instructions to building it, and I will show you the results after. And here is the parts we're going to be using. Um, we also have more parts over there, like these. These are the real tool parts, and these are the paper parts that make it look like a microscope. And yeah, that's how we're going to build it, and we'll show you it after it's done. Okay, guys, so we assembled the fold scope, but we figured out that there was a tutorial on it. So yeah, that's pretty much how we assembled it, since because there wasn't really a good tutorial. I mean, like, it was a good tutorial, but the paper tutorial wasn't really working for us, so we found the video one. Anyways, guys, we'll show you how to use it. So, we got this fold scope here, and fold scopes are basically microscopes, but they're cheaper. Uh, okay, guys, so this is the specimen that we need to put. So, first, you put it and then you want to close the fold scope. But before you do all of that, you want to open the fold scope. And this is an already made one that we made before the video. So once you put it in, you want to close it. And then, by the way guys, this only works on this side you have to watch. And you have to watch it in the sun or any light source. And by the way, these are the slides that we took pictures on the full scope with a phone. And this is the aloe vera one. So it is um, leaf with green pigment chloroplast. They're the same thing. And you can see the trichome over here. And you can literally like see the green pigment. It's pretty obvious. Then we'll go to the hair shaft. Um, this is a dead part since it's like the center of the hair. And this is the hair follicle, which is like the end of the, I mean the begin, like the part that's at the root. And it's the only alive part of the hair, fun fact. And here is the red onion cells, probably my, my favorite um, si um, picture that we took because you can see the cell wall on the plant cell and you can see the hexagon shaped cells and it's really cool to look at. Moving on, this is a stem cross section. That my dad and mom helped me do. They did all the cutting stuff. And yeah, so we have some trichomes over here. You can see some chloroplast green pigment here. And you can see the hexagon shaped cells again, but they look a little more circling from the distance. And there's more trichomes. And yeah, it just looks super cool. And this is our last slide. And this is a sample slide rhizome. So if you're wondering why it's colored, it's because they dyed it 
like red. And this is a sample slide. That means the fold scope people sent it. And we also have a peeled leaf, which um, is actually crushed leaves that are peeled. And it kind of looks like a comic book, honestly. And those are all the slides that we have. And I hope you enjoy. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger. 